Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Gex 2 Enter the Gecko. I thought like some life matches. Okay, so the remaining levels we have to do. I got the reruns, Blizzard in the China Shop, Bugged Out, I'm keeping count, Chips and Dips, I hit some dips. And then we got these three secret levels, which we'll do next time. Because four of these bonus levels is enough for me today. But um, yeah, I think this will probably all be one video if uh, all goes well. If all does not, I might split it between two. Or four. Yeah, whatever. Okay, so we gotta find the items. Do I care that there might be, like, uh, what do you call it? Um Original music here? Nope. Music in this game is really playing around my nerves. So yeah, you get to sit and listen to the black edges and all I get. Okay, so we gotta collect a hundred of these floating television set things in this spacey sort of level thing. I can, I can deal with that, I guess. Okay, so it took us way too much more time than we needed, and also I am eating it up like it was no thing. Because I'm just kind of running around like an idiot, not knowing where I'm going, not knowing where the items are, and bumping into the walls and crap. Also, there are bottomless pits in the level, that's always a good thing. I might need to take some more soda out. Yep, I might need to get more soda out for uh, another round of my drinking game. Hooray, that's, that's awesome. Well, it's not like it matters what music plays as long as I'm listening to it. You guys are probably listening to me sped up while listening to something I've probably already finished listening to. Except the name of Machine Gun is a long song. They're probably still listening to that. Okay, back into the level. Let's give it another go. Oh, we got to collect 99 of them. Excuse me. I'm sorry. One, ah. Uh, that's one less that I need to collect. Hooray. I'm so ecstatic right now. You have no idea. Oh, the fire doesn't hurt me over there. Um, so we got to collect uh, until we have 82 of these things remaining. And then we know we're good. And then we're good to go. I think I collected one of them off of the thing, so. What's that weird floating blue light? Uh, whatever. Not important. I don't think the time limit is what's going to really get me here. But if the time limit is actually playing a part, I am going to get very unhappy very quickly. Also, this is supposed to be easier than Trouble in the Rain, I guess, because Trouble in the Rain is technically the level after this one. So, buckle up. Well, that was, that was entertaining. Yep, I'm glad I experienced that. And this entire game, guys, was a great experience to have. I recommend this to anyone who wants to shoot themselves in the face afterwards. But, um, we've gotten halfway there, at least. Or, excuse me, more than halfway, because you can't technically be halfway at the 99. Ugh, odd numbers, they're stupid. Can I get that thing? No, okay. Well, let's keep climbing up this Tower of Babel here. Speaking of the Tower of Babel, has anyone been uh, paying attention to Atlas? Because, yeah, that makes us a persona and stuff. They should be going to take their space with what they're famous for, so, yeah. But their freaking um, mascot is Jack Frost, who is prominent in quite a few, if not all, of the Shimigami Tensei games. I don't know, when we play Persona 3 and Persona 4, and a little bit of Shimigami Tensei match, I guess, weird. Also, that's probably where the remote's gonna appear, but I refuse to learn my lesson. No, it's probably gonna end up over here, and hey, it's other world. But uh, of course, like I said, you probably aren't listening to that, are you? Oh, well, thank you for getting me off before I die, and that wasn't actually too bad. It could have been worse. It could have been a lot worse. But that took me four minutes to complete, so you be the judge. Five minutes of my life, I'm never getting back. Oh, well. I think I do figure out this world. I could have just, you know, said screw the bonus levels, I want to do them, and not done them. But, you know, we gotta have them. They are kind of a necessary part of the game. Let's see. I think that's everything here. Yeah, because that's trouble in which I was supposed to do after the level I just completed, but whatever. I did a lot of orders, just assuming. Okay, let's see. The next bonus level to appear would have probably been in the green area. So let's go. Three more left. Three more to go. Yeah, I might sleep. No, if I speed up, up my double time, then I won't need to split it up between two videos. Then we can split the other levels that are hidden in the game or something stupid like that. Um, does anyone have any idea where these levels went? Just gotta check through, make sure I'm doing it in the correct Now see, if I'd gotten into bugged out, I would've been doing it in the wrong order. Though, this raises the question, where the heck is Blizzard in the China job? Hmm. Well, let's play the look around until my face explodes again. It's always a great time. Please do not go back to that, the first level. I did like it first time, I'm not gonna like it, so it's the second time. Did it appear back here? Why? That doesn't make any sense, though. Why would it do that? That's the two-step in private 12. That's the soon down out face guy thing. He has a two step. His camera angles are getting me freaking dizzy. Okay, well, we're gonna spend a few minutes, you know, wandering around here until I find the TV. Because, you know, this game loves to make you suffer, so you guys get to suffer right along with me. Won't that be a fun time for all? <clears throat> yep, good times are high by all. That's. Uh, what game said that? This is like Knuckle Buster. No. Uh, Troglodyte? Trogo. Trogomaniac? What the heck was that game called? That's just a bit over there. So let's see, we've got two of the levels. We're now finding the one I need to find. Okay, um, I'll meet you guys back if I ever find the bloody thing. Okay, you know what? I can't find it. Let's go bug out. Why not? Maybe I didn't unlock it somehow, even though I've gotten all of the remotes, so I don't know what I need to do. Anyway, bugged out. Looks like there's Opalus over and all over again. It's an enemy to collect 70 toxic barrels or something. I'm gonna do something. Oh, it's a fighting challenge. That's what this game needed. A fighting challenge. Yeah. Okay. Well, I guess I can do that. It's not that big a deal. Just gonna hit the buttons when they come out of the TVs. And spam the heck out of the square button. If you don't know what you're doing, this is guaranteed to be lost the first time you play this. Come on. How, do you, how are you supposed to know to hit the gear? What's the point of the light power thing? You're not gonna get hit by this guy. You can't hit you. Most you can do is accidentally fall in the space TV bug lava thing. This is the most annoying challenge ever. I thought some of the other challenges were pretty annoying, but no, this, this, is, this takes the cake. This takes the cake right here. It takes the cake, eats it, and calls it a lie. I'm sorry. <clears throat> but I mean, seriously, only halfway through. Ugh, this is so annoying! So they can just run in a circle. These bugs are remote controls. You get. Ugh! Oh, that was fail, but I think I've got the general idea of the challenge. Just gotta run around and 
killing bugs over and over. Next, it's so repetitive that I'm going to let you guys not suffer through it. And uh, I'm just gonna smack if I get that golden monster over here. Damn, you're